Hey guys, it's Stephanie here. It's early spring, so I thought it'd be fitting to do an early spring tour. I kind of want to show you what's blooming. Um, I have some spring bulbs behind me that are all up, some tulips and daffodils. I'm having so much fun enjoying them. They are beautiful. I want to give you a little update of what those look like, some other things that are in bloom. My magnolia has come out, my cherry tree, one of the biggest cherry trees in the whole city where I live. It is absolutely gorgeous. And then I thought it'd be fun to walk around and show you all of the mulch along my flower beds, kind of what's coming out, what's alive. And then I have two really exciting projects this summer that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go show you what those are. And then lastly, I just wanna give you a greenhouse tour. It is jam packed. I could not, I, I actually probably couldn't fit any more seeds and plants in there. It's beautiful and it's been so much fun. So let's start with my spring bulbs. Okay, you see these tulips? Three days ago, they were covered in snow. I have a little picture of that. <laughs> I wanted to show you what they look like. I wasn't sure what was gonna happen because I haven't grown tulips in this house recent enough to where we had a snowstorm like this, so I was really worried about them, but they are just showing you how resilient and tough they are. They are so adaptable. I am so amazed with how strong they are. Anyway, as you can see, there are so many different colors here. It's kind of a funny story. So in fall, I was really, really exhausted, but I knew I wanted a lot of spring bulbs. I didn't have anything planted in this area yet, so I knew I could kind of go crazy but I had also spent so much money and I'm sure it wasn't gonna fly. I'm not sure if it was gonna fly with my husband to go buy 400 more bulbs. I think this is more because I was feeling a little bit guilty with all the money I'd spent, but I did it anyway, as you can see. And so I went each day and grabbed a bag. I'd plant it, grab another bag, plant it. And pretty soon I had bought about 400 bulbs. And I actually don't remember the colors until now of what I planted. And so this is what I got. I just absolutely am in love with this magenta pink one, but this must be taller varieties because these ones are doing really well. And they also came out a little bit later than those full petaled ones. And I had been watering them once I found out those ones were short. So I think that probably helped a little bit, but they are just really pretty. I am really, really enjoying them. I love this daffodil. Look how fun that is. Daffodils are coming so far in the gardening world. So many new fun varieties and they are so tough. They did not care about the temperature fluctuations in winter or nor the drought. So they're a great one to plant, especially because deer do not like them. But it's a really fun combination. I've been enjoying them so much. My snapdragons haven't come out quite yet. They like the cooler temperatures. So we'll see what happens. If, it, if I can get cool enough temperatures for a month or two, that would be awesome because then they can really fill in. This is gonna be kind of a peachy orange one. These will get nice and full over the next month or two. And then my violas are waking up. They haven't filled in quite yet, but in about a month, we're not gonna be experiencing freezing temperatures in the next 10 days. So I think they're really gonna to start to take off. All I can say is I'm super grateful for these tulips and these daffodils because I've been working my butt off. Spring has so much work. I always underestimate it after a long winter. I've had to lay down about 15 yards of mulch and then I've been weeding like crazy. So being able to come check these out at the end of the day is just a reminder of why I do it because they just bring so much joy and happiness and peace. Anyways, let's go walk around and see the mulch and then I'll go show you those projects I'm really excited about and then we'll tour the greenhouse. All right, let's take a look at the mulch. I have it up and down the side of my fence. I've chosen to do flower beds along my fence. I really like the curved look. I just think it flows well together and it, I kind of have to accommodate to my family. So we need to get our car in and out. There's the shop, but my kids love to play sports. So they need a lot of grass to run around in, play football, play baseball, soccer, those kind of things. I am just really happy with the way it looks. This is the first year that I've done it. I don't know why I waited so long. Honestly, I was really nervous about it. I didn't know how it would affect my plants. The plants are doing great. They love it. I just made sure to keep the mulch free from the crown of the plants. That was it. I put it on pretty thick, but it's gonna help so much with my weed control. And especially when my summer gets 100 degrees and above without humidity, it's gonna help so much keeping that moisture in so I won't have to water nearly as much, particularly this year because we have a lot of water restrictions. So I have to take a lot of extra measures. Anyways, here's my Magnolia Jane. I'm a little bit sad this year because it got totally frost burned in that in our recent late winter storm this is the first time it's ever done that it's still really pretty but some of these some of these blooms just are not even going to come out you can see all that brown damage that's because it just got too cold 
This is the first time I've experienced it. Now I know that they do not like cold temperatures when they start to break their blooms and their dormancy. But next year I'll know just to wrap it with some frost cloth. All right, so right here is gonna be where I'm just gonna load tons of hollyhocks. I love hollyhocks and I just want a mass of them and they look great when they're just in masses. So I gotta clean up this area, it's quite a mess. Um, we got some horse manure that we're just gonna have to relocate because we put it here and now we don't need it. We're gonna have to figure out what to do with that. And then right here, this is the nastiest grass of all time. I think it's called, what is it? What's it called? Hmm, totally know this name and now I'm blanking out. I could have told you like on the spot yesterday morning Bermuda or anytime. Oh, Bermuda grass. This stuff goes down, my neighbor calls it, it goes down to China and it totally does. So I'm gonna have to get in this before it starts to come out of dormancy. And then this are our blackberries, so we're gonna have to trellis it. Get these up these are kind of climbers black beauty and triple crown are the best blackberries so if you're looking if you're in the market to buy some buy those they get so huge and they're sweet and they're delicious so that's a big area that i'm going to be working on and then right here let's take a look over here this area has been my dumping ground basically i have been throwing everything back here for the past four years grass clippings sticks anything that can kind of break down and that's natural so my husband's done an awesome job cleaning it up i wish i have a picture of what it looked like before maybe i can show you that real quick anyway he got a Kubota, cleaned it up so this is going to be where i'm going to put my cutting garden i'm so excited i've been wanting to do this for about four years now the timing is right this year and it's another big project. It's gonna be a lot of work. We gotta put in a drip system. I have some fabric and then we'll mulch it to make sure that fabric doesn't burn. And that will help with weed control also and keeping the cutting flowers moist because they need a lot of water. We're gonna work on this for the next month. So let's go look at the last project that I have planned for this year. I get really ambitious. I might not get to it, but those are my goals. So let's walk over here. This is our vegetable garden right here. And so my plan is to extend it about four more boxes so we can kind of balance it out. It's not very balanced to the back of my house right now. And I just want more space. I want to grow more tulips. There's just never enough space for growing flowers. But I really want to be able to give them to my friends and neighbors next year. I would just love to share the spring color because in our area, the deer just chomp them. And a lot of people don't really want to spray for them, but I'm willing to, so I want to spread the joy. And I'm planning on putting two arbors, one right there, one right there. I want to plant some of my cup, cup and saucer vine around them if I can. So this is another project. I'm going to have to kill the grass, maybe learn how to build some garden boxes or talk my husband into it. Last but not least, let's go take a little tour of my greenhouse. It's been so much fun. <laughs> I pretty much been packing it as full as I can. Right now it's actually a little bit better. It was a little bit crazier earlier. But these are all the seeds that are gonna be going into my cutting garden. My zinnias have been one of the easiest things to grow. They really like the heat. They're a little bit more drought tolerant. My, they have just taken off. The cosmos are great for my climate. Um, my asters were super easy to grow. I'm really excited about those. I'm actually gonna have to put those in more of a part shade area, I think. We'll see, I'm gonna experiment with both. I've had so much fun growing snapdragons. Celosia has been really fun. I wish I had a video on these celosias. It was amazing. So when they first came out, they were a little bit overwatered and they were literally curling like this, hanging on by a little thread of stem. I gently removed them, put them under the ground that curly one, planted it deeper to promote adventitious roots, and look at them now. You guys, I wish I had the picture, but it was amazing. <laughs> they, act, they recovered like champions. I'm really excited about these. These are perennials. It's kind of interesting because these germinated way earlier, same container, and this one decided it was gonna germinate about a month later. So you never know. You just never know. Look at my, okay, let's brag about my husband's vegetables a little bit. Look at his tomatoes. They are absolutely amazing. They are so healthy. Look at this one. This one's huge. His major goal this year is to have a tomato in May in a greenhouse without putting it outside. So I really hope he succeeds. He is, he's really determined. Look how big of a pot it is already. This is like a 16 inch pot. It's doing awesome. And then I love having my greenhouse because I can get an early start on my summer containers. 
normally have to take them out in May and then by then it's pretty hot so you really have to water them and they seem to struggle a little bit at the beginning but right now they are loving it they're already starting to develop flowers they're really beautiful. So I'm really excited about that. Oh, and then one last thing. I wanted to give a shout out to those who really liked my black and blue salvia video. I've brought them in from indoors. They were really leggy just because they didn't have sunlight. I cut them back down and look how much they're growing already. I cut them down to about two inches above the ground just to kind of rejuvenate prune them. And they're growing in and they're doing awesome. They're almost ready to go in the ground. So the last thing I'm gonna have to do is harden these off for the next week get them in my cutting garden and then I'll be able to get going on that. So I have a lot of fun projects going on. <laughs> There's always more than one project at a time. It's just how my brain works. It's always spinning with a million different ideas. Thanks for watching. Spring is such a fun time of the year. I'll see you in my next videos and have a great day gardening.